see. Where should we go? What should we do? We should probably, I mean, maybe head out to do something. Commander. But we could just explore systems, too, for resources and stuff. I'm not going to start Leviathan till late, much later in the game, though. Because it's, it's almost necessary if you want to... <laughs> If you want to plan out doing the Citadel DLC correctly. Or like in a way that is, you know, doable. To get all the little goodies and stuff. We're not going to meet with the diplomats yet. Ugh, man. Find artifacts. Shoot. I know I tried to like spread it out. Like I tried to do like two or three little missions. And then do like a main mission. Cerberus lab. Should we go to the Cerberus lab? I mean, we're closer to... I think it would make sense to go to the kite's nest. Let's see. Hold on. Let me, let me out. Mm, nope, nope, nope. The Shrike Abyssal. We can't find that one until much later. Krogan system. We could go there. Krogan demilitarized zone. Mm. Is this the one that's finding the artifacts? Or... I guess let's go find... I'm not sure what find finding the artifacts is for, but if it is part of the Aria quest or not, or mission. I prefer to say miss mission in Mass Effect, and I say quest in Dragon Age. It's just my, my preference. Hades Gamma. And gradually we do open up more systems throughout the game. Sometimes some aren't open, even though you get the quest or the mission for, like, the mission saying, Hey, go here, but you can't find it. Secret Fortresses. <laughs> I love that one. But this is the only insight we'll have into Reaper literary tastes. Ooh, there we go. Signal confirmed. Ooh, buddy. <laughs> Name for the ancient Batarian monarch. After as many recognized wives. Right. This was the Batarians. They had less information to go on. I'm just glad that this doesn't alert the Reapers to your presence. Come on. We have an upgrade kit. Score. Shush. Investigate. I don't even... I don't even need it. But thank you. Karshan. That's right. This is the... Batarian homeworld. 15 billion inhabitants. No information has escaped Karshan since the Reaper destroyed the Kambuis. But Batarian Kajiri said that the resistance had created a bond among the commoners. If the new government can rise from the ashes, that bond may sustain a new Batarian society. Yep, I knew there was going to be something here. But you can't scan unless you do the. You get unless you scan. You know, you can't launch a probe unless you've scanned. This is a very Earth like looking world, too. I think we have, uh, the Batarians and the humans have very similar requirements. The Pillars of Strength! Excellent! We're so close! We've got 100% of the assets, though, so that's good. Desda. Hmm. There's just no accurate information on this system. Alright, well, that was, uh, that was cool. 
Is that is that the only? Oh no, there's at least one more. Oh, kite's nest. Forty-two percent of the assets recovered. All right. Uh, wait. Well, do ah. Uh... So we have we have the, the pillars of strength. I want to kind of I kind of want to land somewhere, you know. But I'm I don't know how much landing we can do. I'm not. I'm pretty sure that the, that the the amount of landing we can actually do on this game is quite limited. So I'm gonna need to do a main mission before I can actually- Oh look, there's the find artifacts thing. I'm gonna need to do another main mission before I can come back into that system. Let's- Whoa! Jeez, they really want this system? Attracted for robo-mining. Reapers have destroyed the orbital station surrounding close and cut the strands of the space elevators that early generation of materials to transport goods. Okay. We should have probably scanned over there by this, because usually I try to scan next to planets that are obviously inhabited. It's a brutally hot and wet garden world. A few colonists wanted to stay. Yikes. Lun number has likely fallen. I found something. Yep. Okay. Okay. Ha ha ha. Oh. Start the scanner. We can do it. I do wish you got punished more when you get caught. You don't really get punished. Credits. I got credits. Great. Is there anything else? Nope. Okay. Run, 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 only got half the assets. Successful. Only got half the assets. I mean, it would be kind of a pain if, like, you got caught and you go through this really huge extended cutscene or whatever every time. But we're not going to get out of here without burning something besides... Whoa! Three asteroid rings! Holy crap. What is up with the system? Aired spot. It's a wealthy vegetarian colony, which from farmland. Little... The radio traffic paints a dire picture. Indoctrinated vegetarian officials are offering rewards for every living body lot of the labor camps, living or not. With state apparatus at their disposal, we begin to start coordinating house to house hunts for resistance members and pr paying those to turn them in. The government propaganda dismisses the smell of the processing ships as a natural byproduct of reaper energy consumption. Columns of dust from annihilated cities tell the story of those who disobeyed. I'd rather be in an annihilated city than anywhere else. <laughs> than, than dead through Reaper methods. <laughs> Come on, guys! Gravitational pull. Uh, perturbs the orbit of the two nearby asteroid fields, adding momentum to asteroids shattered during collisions rather than accreting to planets. Okay, interesting. Debris from a great battle can be seen here. It appears that the Batarian Ape tried to defend the healing from the healing station, giving civilian ships time to escape the system. Okay, okay, let's- I try, I try to not be directly on a planet that I think might have something worth scanning. Nope, okay. Shush! Shush! Covered in prodigious amounts of ice, leaving only uranium deposits. Reapers have exterminated the colony here, punching holes in the dome ceiling and leaving the occupants to asphyxiate. So it's interesting that they kind of pick and choose what cities are worth harvesting and which aren't. Such a small colony as this um, doesn't have the doesn't have the call it or the population estimates anymore. But signal. yep, signal. Okay, let's quick, 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 quick. <laughs> I wish you could kind of like make a guess. And like starts like probing planets, but then I mean that would defeat like it would kind of defeat the purpose of like the because you could just come in here and like look and there would be no scanning thing and you'd be like okay and leave like it wouldn't be a risk. Black market artifacts. Okay, okay, you're ready. Fetch and go, 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 go
Reapers eluded. Yay! Seventy-one percent of assets recovered. Okay. I don't think you actually burn anything else when you. Oh, sweet. And I think, like, when, when, when you run out, I think it just tries to send you, it just sends you directly back to the system with the Mass Effect relay. I'm like, okay. <laughs> um, so that's Kite's Nest basically done. Let's go back. I guess we'll go back to the Citadel. See this? I wish you could land more. Like, I want to land on planets and I want to fight. do things other than I mean this is like I didn't really think about it the first time but this is legitimately just fetch questing like to the nth degree you know what I mean this is the this is the definition of fetch quests like you go out to a place they told you to go to pick up the object they want and bring it back it's not very exciting you're cleared to dock, Normandy. Do you need ground transport? Uh, who do I have? I have... I'll just go to the Presidium comes. I need a cab to the Presidium. It'll be there I can, get, I can get the full Aria thing now. I get the Blue Suns, and I go get the Black Market Artifact to... that guy, and then I'll save Araka, and everything will be great, fine. Oh, and then we gotta give the Pillars of Strength to the guy, to the Preacher guy. In the... Docks. So, I mean, we're getting stuff done, but it's just like, meh. Where is this going? Because if this isn't serious, then we need to talk. These are two different things. You're important to me, but I. It's not healthy to rush from one relationship. But to you another. were cheating. Well, I need to rush somewhere. If I end it with him, then I lose my partner benefits, and that includes my apartment. Okay, so maybe, just for your own security, you need to figure out an exit strategy before you talk with him. I thought I had- Yeah! And I cherish the time we've had together, but- Yeah. Well then why was she encouraging her to leave her husband if she didn't want her to actually be with him? It just kind of confuses me. Black market. Oh, yes, don't worry, Araka, I'm gonna save you. Have we heard this one? For a double shift. Are you insane? We're hardly getting enough sleep as it is. Well, if I'm not going to sleep, I might as well at least make myself useful, right? That... Damn, I'm tired if that argument makes sense. Maybe I should volunteer too. Mm, we won't be the only ones. You talked to the others, didn't you? Why am I not surprised? <laughs> yeah, but I saved the best for last. Nice try, girl. Nice try. I think she meant it, though. Mm -hmm. You're back, huh? Yep. Here, I've got some pieces for you. Done deal, Commander. Check in with General Oraka. You'll see I'm making CSEC very happy. Yay! We did it! We saved Oraka! Oh, man, leveled up. Sweet. Terminus fleet updated. I need to go fight something so I can go figure out my new kind of setup that I want to do. Commander Shepard, I was just contacted by a black market dealer who's donating high-end weapons to CSEC. Probably better than what you had. He wanted you to know. Sounds like you came through. And the Blue Suns can go about their business. Now we'll be focusing on Citadel defense. It won't bring Palavin back, but it's something. Thank you, Commander. Whew. All right. You're alive. That's great. Let's go talk to Arya really... Oh, wait. Well... We go talk to Arya. And we can go talk to the Pillars of Strength guy. Welcome, Commander Shepard. Uh, let's just go to the, the docks. One moment. I'm not sure where exactly we are in relation to the other floors, or else I would probably try to do it in some sort of order. I guess the Presidium Commons is at the top. And, well, I don't know. Top is so relative in the Citadel, you know? I mean, it's the ring, and then there's the 
Yeah, I don't know. Now arriving at docking bay E24. Where, no, oh dang it, no, this was, oh, I wasn't paying attention. Nope, I did the wrong docking bay. Welcome, Commander I wanted to go. Please select the destination. What? Area no, wait, this is, okay, whoa, 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 whoa. I'm good, we're good, we're good. Menu. Right? Yes, okay. Oh, is, um, Cortez down here? Or did we already do that? Are you okay? I've just been standing here, holding this for I don't know how long. It'll always be a part of me. Your past is yours. No one can take that away. I love you, but I know you. Don't make me an anchor. Promise me, Steve. Goodbye, Robert. It's that awkward, like, I'm glad you weird came. shoulder and side grab that she does. I just need a few moments to myself. I think that might be Robert. I'm not sure the one he's staring at. That might be Robert, but I'm, I don't know if that one's already been there before or what. But glad I remember to do that. Moving on is is hard. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. a ship. Weather satellite. I'm getting weird readings from network heads, so I'm gonna have to check the hardware. I'm unscrewing the panel when the radio goes quiet. But I notice these red dots on Karshan. Thought I just stared in the sun. Then I saw the smoke. Bastards. That must have been so surreal to see it from orbit, you know? I recovered your pillars of strength from the kite's nest. They're yours, waiting in bay D-24. Thank you. Right now, my people need any reminder of the faith they can get. Indeed. Indeed, brother. I feel ya. All right, gonna go check in with Arya, make sure everything, I gotta get the Omega DLC. I'm not sure if I'll be able to. I keep forgetting to double check because when I want to play this game, well, I actually have to play off, my Xbox 360 has to be offline because otherwise I can't load in the game for whatever reason. And I've mentioned that, but it's, it's a grand pain in the butt for trying, because I love that she'd be like, oh, frick, and I'll go, but I think I did try to look it up once, and I have to buy the Omega DLC separately. So I might, I might just actually go online after this if I remember and buy it, and hope that it works. <laughs> but because I do want to play that one, I, it's the only one I haven't played on the Mass Effect Three DLC. On all the DLCs, actually, I think I've gotten them all now. Now arriving at Ward Level Purgatory. So I thought about talking to Commander Bailey some more about that guy scamming the refugees. Really? What did he say? Any idea how busy he is? <laughs> I said I thought about talking to him, not that I did. Damn it. One of these days, I'm going to shoot you. <laughs> nah, you won't. I'm the only one willing to stand here with you all day. Shut <laughs> up. <laughs> uh, I love it. Um, Arya. Yep. No, no, no. I'm telling you. I'm... Seriously, look me up here. I had a few on the way in, but I need something cheap and foodie. Like this. <laughs> Listen. <laughs> and then I want to see dancers, and not just crappy folk work. Now, like take the raunchiest thing you can imagine, and then add a fan art. Oh my gosh! Now, listen. The guys are kind of weirded out by you. They're kind of weirded out. Yep. I mean, yep. Dudes, right? Can't handle Look it when a woman tries here. to play the game. The Blue Suns, Blood Pack, and Eclipse are in my pocket. I'll send them to war when you're ready for them. Is there anything on your mind? Um, Blue Suns. Is Darner Voss cooperating with you now? Getting General Araka off the Blue Suns' back did the trick. Voss still thinks he'll be getting me on my nah. idiot. But he's committed his veteran soldiers to me. In turn, 
I commit them to you. Well, thank you, Arya. That's so kind of you. <laughs> oh, God. What exactly have I acquired? An army that's willing to fight dirty, to do the things your respectable militaries won't do. Eclipse Max and Vorcha legions are excellent candidates for vanguards in any ground offensive. Well worth the little song and dance I had you perform, I'm sure. Thanks. I appreciate it. Whatever you say, Arya. Don't be a stranger. <laughs> uh, everything that I get from Arya, I'm just, I feel like she's just like, uh, like, I feel like she, she legitimately means what she's saying, like, she needs to help me to survive, but she's not like, she's not like exerting influence excessively, like, I don't encounter any problems with this later, you know? Like, with her being like, with people being like, oh, so you work for Arya, you know? Please select a destination. But, I mean, not really, I think there's, I think, I think, um, what's his name, Hackett mentions at one point, and he's like, but he's like, hey, you know, you need to do what you need to do. You know? So. But it does kind of feel like there should kind of be more... I don't know. I don't know. Arya is difficult to read, and I like that. I like that she's difficult to read. Now arriving at Makes things very interesting. But we'll go double check. The war... Well, there might... One of them might, might be the Citadel assets. But we'll go check. The war assets should be updated as well. And then maybe I'll find something we can actually do where we actually get out of the ship. Because I want to go shoot some things. Maybe the, the Cerberus lab. The Cerberus lab will have something for me to do. If that, that might be the one that has the Hanar Metagel in it. I'm not sure, but that might be it. I've got new messages. Met some old friends. Oh, Steve. After the regime memorial, I met an old friend who was helping out colonists with logistics. She and her buddies are ex-aligned pilots. Damn good ones who left the service to build a new life on the frontier. They're homeless now, and when I told them about the forces being collected, they were eager to join. I've attached their contact information to forward to hack it. Hopefully they can help. Thanks again for helping me through this. I'm feeling good. Maybe I'll hit up Purgatory next year to the Citadel. You want to join me for some drinks? Steve. Good, Steve. Good. I'm glad. Oh, yeah. War acid. Rogue fighter pilots. Yeah. Commander Shepard. It's funny that it's cool. Like, little things like that. Like, helping out your crewmates does get you little assets and stuff as well. But, I think in, in Mass Effect Andromeda, they are apparently bringing back the crew loyalty missions. Um, but, apparently they're not... Well, okay, I won't say that. But they're bringing, they are bringing them back, which I'm excited. Because that was a big, fun, awesome thing. And I don't really know why they didn't do that for Mass Effect 3. But... Because they kind of seem like they set it up, like, Garrus with his, like, parents, and, like, um, like, uh, Joker with his family, like, everybody's family. Like, it, it seemed like we were kind of setting up for personal missions, and then they never went anywhere. Terminus Fleet. Blood Pack. Blue Suns. Yep. So we got that. Alliance, rogue fighter pilots. When humanity began to expand its borders, experienced pilots were needed to establish colonies in the entry to reaches of space. Some Alliance personnel heeded the call, and these luckless men and women have since been driven out of their colonies by the invading Reapers. After speaking with Lieutenant Steve Cortez, a few of these highly skilled fighter pilots agreed to fly against the enemies who destroyed their homes. Perfect. I love that little ship. Alright, we're good. Getting there. We're a little over halfway to the minimum, but don't worry. We'll be maxing the bar out. It'll be, it'll be good. Um, shoot, do I have, like, fish? Do I have fish? I do have fish, don't I? <sighs> I need to go feed those. I forgot. Forgot. Commander. No, don't, don't ruin it. Don't, no. Don't let me kill my fish. I might have to get the automatic fish feeder this time around. I should be okay. I think if you, like, leave the ship, like, twice or something, if you come back on the third time, they'll be angry with you, or they'll be dead. <laughs> but, we'll see. Whoa. Okay, good, you're still alive. I was like, no, but they're still alive. Perfect. And a little frog. Yeah, you're the glue. You're the glue that keeps us together. 
Little space hamster. I need to get more ships to collect too. Mm. So there's not. I, mean, I guess that makes sense. I mean, there's no way for me to like customize anything from up here except for I mean myself, but like I don't know. I don't know. I would just go downstairs to the to the loading bay, but I I I when I go to a new place, I you know, what's the word? I get to lo I get to go into the screen where I modify things anyway, so I might as well just wait till I do that. But yeah, I think we'll go to the service lab next. Sorry, these last couple have probably been a bit, you know, boring. But it's good to get these things done. I do I do like getting things off the checklist. I'm a I'm a big fan of. Oh wait, and I leveled up. Oh shoot. Okay. Okay. What are we gonna do? Four. Oh shoot, I could put disruptor ammo and sabotage up. Or I could get sticky grenade or defense drone. Or no, wait, no, whoa. Yeah, disruptor ammo. I could only get one. <laughs> so maybe I'll do... Okay, what's the option for defense drone? Increase the duration. Or... Well, there's sticky grenade, increase the damage, or increase the radius. That one would be handy. Increase the impact radius, also handy. Increase the health and damage bonus. Shoot. Um, uh, if we're gonna, okay, so if we're gonna be fighting Cerberus, we're gonna be fighting people, but sabotage will be very helpful. And it's actually, if, if it's the one I'm thinking of, it's quite confined to spaces. So, shoot, I might want to actually get the defense drone. And the sticky grenade will cause a lot of damage. They don't, they don't tend to group up too close. Two point, yeah, 2.6 meter, that's nothing. Uh, or sabotage is 3.25 radius. And that does... Sabotaged weapons, but then they can just change to a different weapon. It kind of burns them, but it doesn't really damage. Six defense drone. Increase the duration. Ugh. It's difficult. This one is difficult indeed. I mean, in a hallway, that would like get them, you know, like it would it would get one or two that were coming up. Same with sabotage, it would, you know, get one or two of them coming up. Defense drone. I get it. I think I'll I'll probably I'll actually try to focus on the actual abilities that come with the infiltrator. Maybe maybe that's a good way to think about it. Sabotage could be useful. Well, the sticky grenade actually does damage, even though it doesn't quite seem to work how I want it to all the time. Ugh. And that is more for synthetics. It's not so much for humans. Okay, sticky grenade. Sure. Increase the impact radius. Excellent. All right, well then. All right, next time for sure, we'll start, we'll probably go to the Cerberus base that's up, I wanna say north, but north is meaningless in space. So up the top of the map. <laughs> But thank you guys again for joining me. I do appreciate it. Um, I appreciate all your support. And I hope you guys are doing well. So anyway, thank you again. I'll see you in the next one.